Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP build code with SAP generative AI and the Joule tool. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to use VS Code environment from your local machine to connect to your dev space in SAP build code and then use again the SAP's Joule capability to generate an application with the generative AI. In this series of videos, by far, we have seen what is SAP Joule, what is generative AI and its benefits, and also how to create your data model with sample data and services for an application. In today's session, you will learn how do we build the same application or a similar application using VS Code tool. With the help of that, you will also see in our data model, we will be able to model complex relationships. So let's get started and understand our flow for today's session. So in our flow today, what you will see that I will have a local installation of VS Code tool. So I will have a VS Code tool in my own workstation, which most of you are also using for Fiori app development. So here is where the developer will work with and we will install a bus extension and what this little extension does it allows you to remotely connect to your btp system and in your btp system there is a business application studio dev space so whenever you use the bas tool from the btp environment there are dev spaces in the bas tool and of course we will now connect to one of these dev spaces from our vs code environment so you get more or less the same look and feel and experience of developing application via the help of VS Code. So the extension actually does all the communication to the dev space in the remote system. So basically this remote machine, it will be able to import all the features and will be able to show you the same experience. So you can utilize even the Joule tool, generative AI to build your applications with the VS Code. So let's get started. I will head over back to VS Code. So this is the environment which we are using. And in the extensions now, I will search for Business Application Studio extension. Let's search for that, Business Application Studio. And here is where we have the SAP Business Application Studio toolkit. It's already installed. And also you can see remote access for BAS tool. BAS Studio. I have already installed them for my convenience in the system. Now, once you install these toolkits, once you install this extension, you are going to get this icon over here called Business Application Studio Desktop Client. You can see the icon of BAS tool. You click on that and now it gives you an option to connect to your landscape. So from here, we are going to choose the connect landscape button and we will provide here the URL of our landscape. So to be able to get this URL, you will head over back to your BAS tool. So in your BAS tool, you can see you have to copy this URL before the question mark. So we will copy this URL of our landscape, which is our trial account, the data center, and the application studio.cloud.sap. We copy this link over back and paste it over here and press the enter key so system will now authenticate myself and if you face an issue related to authentication usually you know it will uh, give you an issue for authentication then you can just click here and you know choose an option to right click and login or there will be a button to login and once you log in you can now see your dev spaces wow so i have two dev spaces out of which only one of them at the moment is running. You can now manage your BAS dev spaces directly from VS Code. And you can see the one which is running in the green color and that's my SAP build code landscape. So I can just go back there and click on open in new window and allow the access. So what it does now, it will open the VS Code tool with the same set of options what you see on SAP BTP. So a very similar environment of uh, the BAS tool with the 
generative AI capability will be configured for you and wow there you go you can see now we get our folder and we get our project yes and we'll be able to now open and work with our projects so we can create projects and you can actually see all the capability including the jewel is now available in your vs code so it's more of a local environment but now it's connected to the dev space and all the options of your bash tool are now available to you in your local machine it gives you a more of a local system experience yet connected to your dev space remotely now please note that this will only work if you are connected to internet you cannot work with this option offline so for example you are sitting in a flight and during that time if you would want to work with jewel or you know the capability perhaps it is not going to help you so in, it is mandatory that you stay connected to your to your application so now what are you going to do is we are going to click on open folder and it's more or less the same folder structure what do you see can go to projects and click ok and there you can find your projects as well so it's booting up and we only had one project in that dev space which was earlier created in the last uh, videos which was Anubhav trainings so that's our project so you can continue editing this project and start working with it option number two is let's go ahead and create a new project right away and I'll go back to SAP build work zone uh, SAP build uh, application lobby and I'll create a new application and let's build a application using build code full stack application and I will give it as name Netflix so this is going to be a Netflix application to manage shows and movies and I click on create an application is getting created and in just few seconds once this is ready we are going to start accessing this application and of course start consuming and utilizing the SAP's jewel capability to add the content inside so let it create two very boring minutes later all right the project is created now after a few seconds I will head over back to the VS code environment which is running in my local machine and here once again i will just make sure that i will open my netflix project so this is my netflix project so let's switch over to this using pressing f1 key and then we can say open folder option and then we will head over back to projects directory and then in that we just switch to netflix alone i click ok and this will reboot my vs code environment particularly targeting the Netflix project and then all the options are going to load in just few seconds or minutes I will have once again the same experience on the left hand side with the entire project structure created for Capam project and I'm going to head over back to choose SAP Joule to actually use Joule to generate the remaining part of the stuff so I've got a prompt for you today again and in this prompt i'm going to create a netflix application so i would want a netflix application to be created and in this i would want an entity to store movies and shows with the data and the typical attributes of movies and shows then there will be there will be two more entities one will be the user rating for movies and shows and one will be the cast detail now each movie or show will have multiple user ratings and also multiple casts casts and crews for example actor actresses right side heroes villains and then the cast table contain the cast type also like who is the cast type their name and their age and including attributes so let's use this prompt you can also find this prompt in the description of this YouTube video so when you are practicing you can utilize the same so I click on open guide and choose data model creation with open jewel option and very much similar experience is now available for you in the local vs code environment and i will just pass on my prompt as you all know the prompt i can also zoom down a little bit to show you all the available options over there and click on generate so now it is thinking and it is going to propose the data model uh, according to the prompt which we passed so let's explore quickly the data model which it has created so it has got a media 
entity and it has got title description release date the uh, the genre and uh, the duration rating of the netflix tv uh, tv shows and movies and then we have ratings and cast details and look at that it has got gotcha the association with those respective entities and of course user rating there will be a rating and uh, of course we will also have the cast detail with the name age cast type and media so there is a always back and forth relationship between media and rating and uh, cast types so this is our data model which is proposed now by the system and now i can click on accept button so you can see the system is now going to accept this prompt uh, this result and it is going to create all our data model accordingly so once again as expected the next step would be to also generate the test data now sometimes what happens the storyboard uh, doesn't refresh so you have to close it and you have to press f1 key and say open storyboard again yes. so this is the option you have to choose from f1 and then it will open the storyboard once again for your corresponding project so it's easy for you and there you go now we have got our uh, data model and the corresponding service entity so our next step is to also generate sample data open jewel and i would want to go generating some sample data over there for the media shows and also respective cast and uh, the respective data so we can click on generate or we can just also edit and generate data with uh, 200 movies 200 medias uh, 300 records in, uh, rating or let's say at least 10 records in rating for each movie and um, five uh, records per movie for cast details all right so that's a change and i submit again so i am instructing jewel to now generate a bit of more data for me i'm not happy with the data uh, which was very limited in scope i would want to deal a bit of more data and jewel is now compiling this information and correspondingly going to generate the additional or the required test data for us so let it take some time and then hopefully we should be able to get our data the sample data created and then we will be able to proceed further to utilize this data and then test our services in the local vs code environment itself two thousand years later so you can see the data is generated now and it's huge let's accept the prompt uh, the results and the test data will be then created and inserted into our data table so prompt is also confirm confirming is this data should be accepted and yes after accepting that the system is going to push our data now it will also open the data generate data viewer where we can now view the data which was generated and there you go it has created exactly the 200 movies and shows data yes and in addition to that it has got you the media information the cast information yes the rating information everything it has created also for us superb and for each media there is a primary key with which things are now getting associated correspondingly so let's run our application and test so i'm going to head over back to the package json file and here we have the start script to test our application in our development environment so let's start the application and it's booting up over here and we'll be able to test our application really quick so i can follow link and there you go and we will just check the application data we can also view a fury app preview for our test data over here and you will be able to find now the corresponding test data for all the movies beautiful so this is how the system have generated the test data and the content for us and now it is utilizing the information to create our logic and code i hope you enjoyed this video how to use vs code tool along with the bas extension to build and test your application directly using vs code environment in your local machine and utilize once again sap's jewel capability 
to generate the application and test it locally with that thank you so much for joining this session i'll catch you up in the next episode have a nice day goodbye